Hey guys, welcome back Karibu sana. We are in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. My name is Lucy and I'm from Kenya, but currently in Tanzania. So today's video, I want to show you something very interesting. The BLT, Tanzania BLT. And this is one of the Kenyan dream, my country Kenya, which have already started uh, the construction of the BLT station. But here is the reality, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, they already have uh, the BLT system in operation. And for your information, it's very, very convenient, it's faster and uh, time saving, traffic free. And this is one of the best system I think uh, Kenya have really embraced and uh, ready to implement it. So guys, we're going to start uh, off here from Kimara BLT station all the way to the city at uh, Posta Zamani. This is up, um, right uh, near the near, uh, the city center and uh, that station is where also you will be seeing uh, the ferry on the opposite side. So the journey starts here. And the first thing, you have to get a ticket the ticket is 650. It's about uh, 35 Kenya shillings. That is about uh, 30, uh, 30 cents uh, um, dollar. Yeah? But the, this is the journey to the end, although I'm not going to the far end of uh, the BLT station. And uh, the, this BLT have uh, about six faces. So it is uh, one of the major major project in this country of tanzania of uh, tanzania in the specific city of dar es salaam remember dar es salaam was the former capital city of tanzania now the current uh, capital city is dodoma but uh, this uh, project is already in dar es salaam So, uh, about the Dar es Salaam BLT, it was planned to improve urban transport by gradually replacing minibuses in Tanzania's largest city. The planning of this BLT started early, 2000, started early in the year 2000 and it began to operate in 2016. So, that uh, means what? It took a lot of time to be on operation. Uh, I did not. I was not able to establish the total cost of this project uh, from the phase one to phase six, but uh, it's one of the most uh, wonderful project I have seen in this country. The bus rapid transit system has designated rails and high capacity buses that call at stations every few minutes. It also features off-board fare correction and close station and access of pedestrians and cycles. So this is one of the fastest. In fact, when I eat, I'm when I eat a yeah? that's what they are, you like uh, in Tanzania. They use Swahili, so when I eat a kazi, if you're ready for work, if you want to catch up with your duty and what, uh, considering BLT could be the best choice because you can time yourself and uh, there are buses all the time. So as we go here, you can see people coming out, in and out. And uh, the most important thing it is a specific lane for these buses. No any other car can use this lane for BLT. So there will be no traffic at all. You see there is a specific lane for BLT to and fro on both sides. Huh?
And this construction uh, was undertaken by Austrian construction company from the first phase to the sixth phase. The first phase is about 21 kilometers. And the entire system is operated by the Usafili Sarama Dar es Salaam Lapid Transit under the sovereigns of the Service of Marine Transport Regulatory Authority. Currently, the route is serviced by a fleet of about 305 Chinese Blue Butte buses providing express and local service for 18 hours daily from 5 to 11. But uh, you know what, in Dar es Salaam, uh, when it comes to transportation, you see it's overnight. But uh, for BLT in specific, it's for 18 hours from 5 o'clock in the a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. So uh, this is how the BLT is. For those people who have seen this uh, project going on in Kenya, so this is how we expect it to be. So at the moment they are using the receipt, this receipt as you can see it, but before you, they used to have a bus card that you can just tap. But uh, at the moment they have gone back to use the receipt, I don't know why. For me, I would rather prefer the card system. It's quite convenient. Anyhow, this is what they use. If you don't get a chair to sit on inside these buses, you can start, they are allowed to the capacity to start because they want to accommodate as so many people as possible, especially the, the time of traffic. That is when you notice this car, the, this bus can really take so many people. And so every time I noted that, they are busy they are busy and there are so many people every now and then but in the morning hours very early in the morning that's where you will find a uh, we cannot call it traffic like uh, it is there are many buses coming every minute every minute so almost everyone is accommodated in this blt although not everyone choose to use the blt there are other means of transport which we're gonna look at uh, after this so I hope you enjoy watching. Oh, BLT is wonderful. Welcome to Tanzania. If you're new here to this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel, support my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, Karibu Sana, stay tuned because a lot more is coming on this channel. Thank you. See you to the next. Bye.